I'm Shigeru Miyagawa. I teach at MIT, and I'm the executive producer of Star Festival. In this brief presentation, I want to tell you about Star Festival. Star Festival is a multilinear program which we created at MIT, myself and a large team of people who work on different parts of the program. Star Festival is a model by which you tell your own personal history. Who am I? This is who I am. And I want you to look at it. As you will see, it is a way in which you represent a variety of things about your own life. Your parents, your home, and so forth. The content of Star Festival itself is about my own life. I was born in Japan, and I was there until I was 10. And then I came to the United States with my family. And as an adult, I went back to Japan with a question. Who am I? Am I Japanese, or am I American? Or am I Japanese and American? I really didn't know and I needed to have the answer to this question. So I created Star Festival with this team from MIT in order to try to answer the question. So Star Festival is a very personal history about me and also a very personal look at Japan, my own personal Japan. I would like to now show you some things from Star Festival. If you look at the screen, uh, we came right into the middle of the show. Uh, this is the PDA, or Personal Digital Assistant. The PDA is what I took with me to Japan to record things about Japan, about my own life. You can see that it has uh, a screen here, lots of buttons, and uh, lots of things that you can click on here. The idea always is that it's a personal journey. So I'm going to begin by showing you a very personal look at my hometown, a bus ride. The bus ride continues for a few more minutes. The, uh, the point about this bus ride is that there's no uh, talking. It doesn't tell you this is my hometown and this is Japan and so forth. It gives you lots of visual cues that you use in my personal journey to see what Japan is like on a very personal level. Next, I want to show you my home. Uh, this is where I grew up, in Hiratsuka, Japan. Hiratsuka is about uh, one hour by train from Tokyo. And you can see that this is a, a room, kind of cluttered. There's a TV. Okay, there's some familiar things. Uh, there's a, a, a Buddhist shrine, a Buddhist temple here. And you can tour around my home and see things as you look around.
one of the things that I wanted to capture with Star Festival is the notion of change, that people and countries change. Okay? And here's an example of someone in my own neighborhood, the model shop man, uh, where everything around him has changed except him. After the end of World War II, people were saying Japan was defeated by the U.S. because we were behind in science. So I started the shop thinking that I could help young people. That's why the way I conduct business might be a bit different from others. But the children used to... Yes, back then, I spent a lot of time playing with kids, hoping I could help them. How about nowadays? It's not the same these days. Children don't make plastic models anymore? Children don't do it. Children these days aren't interested. Models aren't popular anymore, especially the more complex models I carry. Really? For the most part, they play electronic something, something like video games. So kids play video games, but this model shop man continues to sell these very com uh, complicated models. The next site I'd like to show you is a site where I explore father-son relationship. Because I wanted to really understand what it, it is like for uh, a son uh, and a father to relate to each other. Every year we pick a theme. This year's theme is movie stars and the star festival. These are all from American movies. We like American movies. Everything's made by hand. We aren't professionals, so every year there are things that go well and other things that we want to improve. I may be exaggerating a bit, but every year we gain more know-how about how to do it. My father started it, but he died 19 years ago. At first, I wasn't sure if I wanted to continue it, but gradually it became more and more fun. The next site is uh, where we look at mother-daughter relationship in this culture. Do you worry about the next generation, your child's generation? No, she works for a company, so it's not so hard. We hope for our children's happiness more than our own. I wouldn't want her to suffer like me. It's okay now, but when I was younger, I cried at night when no one was looking. Mrs. Tanaka, who you, you just saw, was the only woman that we found at the, the fish wharf where we were uh, looking for someone to interview. And uh, she gave us this fascinating story of what it's like for uh, a mother uh, to worry about her daughter in this time of change. The final site I'd like to show you is the Star Festival site. Every town has a festival of some sort, and my hometown has the Star Festival. The Star Festival is an old Chinese myth. It's the Romeo and Juliet of Asia. A boy and a girl fall in love from the wrong sides of the tracks. 
Their families are upset, and so they toss the boy and the girl into two different constellations, thinking that they would never, never meet again. And unbeknownst to the families, the two constellations come together in July of every year, on the seventh day of the seventh month, as the myth goes. And so Star Festival is to celebrate their coming together. In my hometown, the Star Festival is a very big festival. And among many, many things that, uh, uh, that you find in the festival, there are queens, Star Festival queens. So let me show you that. I hope you got some idea of what the Star Festival CD-ROM is like. Keep in mind that the CD-ROM is about Japan, but the reason why I did this was because I had to answer the question, who am I? Am I Japanese or American? The whole idea of Star Festival is that it's a model by which you tell your own story. So once you look at Star Festival, then you can think about the question that you want to have answered. And the, the question may be the same thing that, that I ask myself, who am I? Okay. But it may be some other question. There are lots of people using Star Festival all through the United States and even abroad. And there are lots and lots of questions that people are asking and they're using this Star Festival as a model. Finally, another thing that's important is that all of these stories that are generated as a result of using Star Festival as a model become a communal, communal story. So people share what they, what they uh, create with Star Festival. So there are stories about Chinese Americans, there are stories about Latino Americans, and on and on. That's a very important part of Star Festival. Just as I'm sharing my story with you, I would like for you to share your story with me and with others who are doing exactly the same thing that you will be doing. Well, I hope you'll enjoy using Star Festival, and do let me know the question that you're trying to answer.